Hey, what's up? This is Chosen and joined by HWZ, a Raid Shadow Legends content creator, new on the scene here. And we are going to be talking about the different sets in the game and which ones we think are the 10 worst in the game. So we're going to be talking about the worst ones, why they're trash, maybe how we would rebalance them. I've got my list on the screen that he cannot see. Uh, and then we're going to let him uh, uh, tell you his worst 10 and we'll see where we agree and disagree and then give you some context on that. So oh, let's get into it. Hey, what's up, HWZ? How you doing, man? I'm doing awesome, man. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, no, it's a Just, blast. Uh, could, could you, uh, could you uh, give us a little bit of a, of a backstory, kind of uh, how you got into gaming and raid and, and started doing content and, and just kind of uh, give us the basics real quick? So I'm, a, um, I'm a pretty, you know, new to the whole gaming on PC thing. I grew up playing console games, never really had a... A computer to play games on much except like i used to play on my grandma's computer like some some basic things but um you know gaming on a computer is totally new to me and got into it because of raid definitely and i started playing raid you know during the COVID time early on in the pandemic um once the school shut down because I, I am a teacher i started playing raid um because i was teaching from home so i had a, a whole lot of time to you know get into new things so now that's, that's how i ended up playing raid that's so you, you know usually it's like uh uh the other way around but you got into pc gaming because of a mobile game <laughs> exactly so i actually um i played raid mobile for about six months uh before i actually ever played it on a computer and that computer was a mac so i was at a disadvantage as the mobile players would say but, okay gotcha uh, <laughs> now you're but now you but got yeah. like the the whole pc set up and 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 doing content and all that obviously yeah man i actually just got a pc about two weeks ago so <laughs> it's, it's 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 been great uh, a lot of people support it helped me raise the money to get the new pc so um yeah definitely a, a much better feel than being on a mac okay cool gotcha what made you start to do uh to do content and when did you start and all that so I started doing content um, around the Raid Awards year before this past year. So um, as a lot of people know, you know, everyone doesn't know, but I was on the song Raidzilla doing work with those guys and uh, Van Strash trying to roll substats. Will it be speed? Will it be flats? If you see, got me click, clack, click, clack, click like a lab rat is H dub. You can ask chat. Yo, gigs, tell them what's next. Yeah, I, I kind of got pushed to put out a reaction to Raidzilla. Um, by Saffron, so he was like, "Dude, you need to do a video," and I was like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't really do YouTube. I just like to stream." But um, I got over myself and I did the video, and from there, I've, you know, I've been enjoying it ever since, man. People have reached out; they've offered help and assistance, and I couldn't be more thankful about it. And so, ever since then, I've, you know, been doing what I can, and and it's 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 really been enjoyable. Awesome, man, and you and you've been doing a really good job. Uh, you know, I saw recently you had the video um, featuring a, you know outside the box rare champion. So doing a good job theory crafting and, and coming up with new content. So yeah, keep up the good work, man. Thanks, man. Oh well, alrighty. Let's let's dive into the topic at hand, and I will let you. Uh, you know, I'm not going to interrupt you a, a, a whole bunch because you know the viewers can already see my list. You can't. Uh, we, we, we're gonna we're gonna put you to to, to the test here and see uh, what your list is without any uh, biased input from me. So go ahead and walk us through your uh, your ten through one, uh, with ten being the least worst and ten being the uh, or and one being the worst set in the game. Okay, so at number ten, I'm going to go with the toxic set. Um, should I, should I break it down some now or we don't um, it, maybe, maybe like, I'll, like, like, you know, one or two sentences, uh, but we'll get through it quick and then we'll, uh, and then we'll, and then we can kind of compare how, how we're, how, our way of thought between the two lists. Gotcha. So at number 10, I'm putting toxic just because, you know, it has some use, but it does get phased out based on the champions you start to get on your account. Very simple. Um, at number nine, I'm going to go with the frost set just because they've already made a better set. Um. And it's a four piece set, kind of hard to get four piece sets going when you don't get decent stats on them. At number eight, I'm going to go with curing just because it's so niche. It only belongs on very few champions. So um, not a set that you can actually use on every champion in the game. At number seven, I'm going to go with affinity breaker just because I wish they would make that set better. I feel like it could be a lot more usable 
and I don't think they, they went about it the right way. Um, at number six, I'm going to go with Cursed, just because I couldn't put it at number one because there's a worse set. <laughs> at number five, I'm going to go with Divine Offense, just because, you know, Divine Gear is pretty much just med gear with a shield which is why number four for me is also divine life um at number three i'm gonna go with the basic defense set um just because you know we have resilience now and you know you can craft a ton of that at number two i'm gonna definitely go with offense um just because you know we get cruel from clan boss so there's no need to farm it, you know, early on in the game, it is usable, but it will be phased out for you very fast if you're not already just using lifesteal. At number one, I'm going to go with the life set because for some reason at the top of the screen, it just looks easily deletable whenever it drops. <laughs> okay. And that is my list, 10 to 1, man. Okay, cool. Uh, that is, uh, thank you for breaking that down. And now uh, I'm going to send hwz my list as well so you can see how they compare and then we'll talk about the different thought processes on how we came to these conclusions and where we agree and disagree and boom i have just sent over the full list that you see down below uh so now you're seeing live uh hwz reacting over there um so mm -hmm. uh you know what's your what's your first thought here uh, uh would you want to change your mind at all or do you think i'm crazy or, or what, what what do you think of there I don't think you're crazy, but I think that. Well, that's good news. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you're, I don't. Th <laughs> I, don't I don't think you're crazy at all. Some of these sets that you have, I wanted to put on my list for sure. I just, I don't know if they're top ten and I, you know, I, I did. I, I wish I could have grouped the basic sets together because some of the sets that you do have on your list, I felt like belonged a hundred percent on this list. So. I, I do like your list. I'm interested to hear your take on some of those pieces that are on there, like Fury, um, Avenging and Retaliation, for sure. One of them one of them doesn't belong in top 10, I would say. The other, for sure, in the top 10. Um, everything else, I, I pretty much agree with. I think Frenzy is way too niche. Um, but yeah, and Curing is, Curing is also way too niche. But I, yeah, your, your list is solid. Um, why offense at 10 and not one? Yeah, and sure. Is, uh, I, I can, I, I can walk you here. through my thought process and you can let me know if you disagree. Uh, so like for me, uh, I, I think of a four piece set is not impactful. It's just complete trash. Um, because mm -hmm. it, it, it really, it takes up 66% of your slots. It's four out of six and you can't really work around it then at that point. Um, so like the sets like life and offense and defense, I agree with you, which is why I have offense at number 10. Uh, cause the, like there I would be putting all those like 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, but they can at least like be fillers, you know, like, like you, you can fill in for like secret rooms and stuff like that. Uh, four piece Definitely. sets, like you're just never gonna, I mean. It, it, you know, so you'll see like all of them. Like I think it's like my top, my top nine. I think th those are all four piece sets. They're, they're literally yeah, just yeah. yeah they're, they're just the worst four piece sets because they're so build defining at that point. If if they aren't impactful, I just can't keep them on my account or ever use them. That's kind of my thought process uh, when I was ranking them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 makes total sense, man. Definitely respect respect there. Um, what about like? Fury, though, I, I mean, granted, it is a four-piece set, but I feel like a lot of people use it for, like, Ultra Nightmare teams. You know, um, I, I, I've tested this with my team, and at least in our testing, we always thought it was underwhelming. But if I'm wrong, I'm happy to to try it again. What, what, what we kind of came to the conclusion was, uh, when we were thinking about it, was that it, it, it should go up to, like, 40 or 50 percent. Uh, because yeah. like the stacks just don't end up being impact. Cause like, imagine if instead of that, instead of those four pieces of fury, what if you put on four pieces of crit damage? Well, what if you put exactly. on, you know, what if you put on four pieces of, of cruel and now you're getting all mm -hmm. that attack and that, that ignore defense, you know? So it, it's mm -hmm. hard. A, a lot of, honestly, like if, if we talk about how to rebalance them successfully, I think a lot of these sets could be awesome if they were just two piece sets. A hundred percent. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Like, if, like, if, if, if Kirin yeah. was a two-piece set, it'd be cool to, to put on, you know, it, then we, we, we get a role in the game for some of these. Yeah, definitely. And and depending on, you know, whether they're additive or multiplicative, like, you could see some 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 really nice builds early on if a lot of these pieces were two-piece sets. You know, they'd be a lot more usable for people because they're going to get these sets. <laughs> 
and not know what to do with them. And yeah, I, I agree. I think they should um, at some point, you know, we've already started to see two piece versions of a lot of the older sets. So I'm, I'm hoping they do bring some more. I know we've seen some data mine images of things that could potentially be coming. So um, I don't I don't know, but ho I'm hopeful as a as a player. <laughs> Well, and, and another reason to be hopeful is, uh, you know, I think with some of these new sets, like if you pull up Protection or Stone Skin, they're actually mm -hmm. doing some pretty cool stuff, like having it be like like a full actual six piece set. Like like exactly. it's one, yep. two, three, four, and they should have more of that in the game. Like like curing should be twenty percent bonus heal at two piece, and then it should be like fifty percent bonus heal at four piece. Yeah, I I agree, man. I love that you can like just slap on two stone skin pieces and get forty resist and some HP for that. Like that that is amazing. So I, I think we will I think we will see something. Um I don't know how soon, but I think we will at some point. They are learning and you know the variable sets are, are awesome. You know, at this point like stone skin's S tier protection pretty much like A to S tier depending on the champion you use it on. So yeah, I'm 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 hopeful for sure, but we know it's Polarium. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not going down that rabbit hole, right? <laughs> we'll be wait. Let's keep the video under one hour long here. But but I do want to ask you. Uh, I meant to ask you in the in the intro or when we were kind of talking about you. What's the what's the holy wizard? Is there a backstory there? All right. So <laughs> when I was like eight years old, um, so I've always been into music. Uh, everyone in my family is like really into music. My grandmother is actually a. Uh, a music theory professor she's like on the board at howard and, th and things like that um my dad did music you know every everybody in my family like pretty much does music or is a teacher um so my dad wrote me a rap when i was in a talent show and it was like i'm a wizard on the court and i got something to say so that's kind of where it started and then in high school i was like you know one of the smartest kids in the group i hung out with so my best friend he started calling me the wizard and then it, then it became the holy wizard once I started making beats and doing my own music. So that's kind of, that's pretty much where it came from. Like, yeah, I'm I'm the holy wizard. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I like it. Every, everybody's, uh, you know, gamer handle has a story. I think that's a pretty cool one. It started uh, when you were eight years old, you said, and it has a lot of different yeah. Yeah, things to go. Mine is, uh, mine's from Mortal Kombat and uh, The Matrix, because those were my two favorite movies as a kid. So oh, nice, man. They, they, they both have like a chosen one in them, like Neo mm -hmm. in Mortal Kombat, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then uh, and then also in the Matrix or Neo in the Matrix and Liu Kang in Mortal Kombat. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, when I was like nine or ten, I thought that was cool. So I always put that as my gamer handle. But yeah, no, awesome, man. I really I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to. It's, it's it was wild for us to make this happen because there was all the craziness going on with like the ancient shards and the beginner rates and hanging out on stream and finding out about that because of like the free to play. Are you doing how Hades is free to play competition? No, I'm not. I'm kind of busy right now working on this. I'm I'm driving an account for a friend and I'm working on Ramon two missions. So I haven't um. I haven't gotten around to it. I would love to do it. I, I remember you mentioning something about a free to play challenge. So if you, you know, I don't, are you doing it? Are you doing the Hell Hades challenge? I, similar to you, I uh, I just have so much. Go it's super cool how they're doing it, and uh, I, like the leaderboards and everything. I was actually gonna uh, talk with Hell Hades like tomorrow and, and collaborate with him. But yeah, I, I love the competition. Uh, it, it's it's amazing. I just same as you. Too much going on for me to like start another account and 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 actually commit yeah. to like trying to compete on a leaderboard. There's just yeah. uh, there's just no way I'd be able to do it and, and actually do a good job of it right now. But yeah, man, yeah. Uh, it, it was fun to get you on the channel here, and I'm gonna link to your uh, your stuff down below. Definitely check out uh, HWZ's channel down there, uh, cranking out the good theory crafting, fun raid content. And yeah, appreciate it, man. I'm sure we'll uh, I'm sure we'll touch base soon. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me, man. I really appreciate it. Yep, for sure. Have a good one. You too.